act like I'm just supposed to just talk all the time, man. Can I chill? What's good? What's good? What's happening? It's time for life, and it's also time for another love after lock up, baby. Today we are looking at Chevelle and Quaylon. <laughs> Anywho, so they're going to Chevelle's pastor because he has, you know, a lot of experience in dealing with people that have come out of prison. So they're going there, we're gonna have a little chit chat. Let's see how they do. I look at her and I see a lot of Chevelle. He's talking about Michaela. That's the only kid I remember on the show. Only kid's name I remember. Michaela. Wait, is that her name? I think so. Anyway, Michaela, which is Chevelle's daughter. And yeah, he he really sees a resemblance between the two. Because he's known Chevelle for a long period, logically time. And I've been knowing Chevelle since she was a little girl. Yeah. Yeah. And to see her now, she's all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> Quaylon's answers. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I was really rooting for Quaylon, but I guess y'all will see. My pastor works with men that comes out of prison. This job I got to apply for. Chabelle's family's coming at me with all this. Coming with at you with what exactly? I mean, at this point, hmm, hmm. Negativity is marriage in the plan. How is this question is marriage in the plan negativity? That's what I would want to know Because this was the episode where he was saying something about having to become more familiar with Chevelle before You know just you know kind of taking his time getting more familiar with Chevelle and I was like y'all done already done the tantan tonight Y'all been out here running wild, but you need to get more familiar with her She's been by you for what? I think she was been his girlfriend for like two years whilst he was inside. But he needs to get more familiar. And she gave him an ultimatum. Well, she said it during the confessions, I think. She was like, mm, she's going to have to get a ring in like six months. Or else I don't know what. But this I don't think is negativity. If somebody's asking you, is marriage in the plan? It's just a question. Answer it how you however you like. And they will also do whatever they like after you answer it. However you like. Well, um, are you just gonna show up for a little fun time and slap? Ah, the cousin D Mark. That's where the most negativity came from because he was not having it. He's openly opposed to this relationship completely. He was just not having it. But you know, he made some very, very valid points. Bye. I give a seven nine seven. What's wrong with the name? Chevelle looks tired, she looks frustrated, she looks angry, she looks sad. Did I already say that? I don't know. But she just looks like she's going through it. You act like I'm just supposed to just talk all the time. Mm -mm. I mean, can I chill? He wants to chill. You know what it is? When and we're gonna see this with Heather <laughs> in a few days' time as well. But it's like when these people come out of, they come out of the incarceration. The person that's on the other side is like, they're always super giddy and super, except for with Jessica and Maurice. Maurice is the giddy one and the very excited one, which is also understandable because he just come out of jail. But with most people, like the other person is also like super giddy and excited and really like wants things to, you know, go over smoothly and stuff like that. So for him to be like, like she's obviously, she wants to talk, she wants to have conversation and stuff like that because most of the time that's, like the basis for their relationship because they're always on the phone, they're always talking. And this is not why the per other person is in jail. But <laughs> he's come out and he's really dry. He's always on his phone. Always. Even during that dry party where everybody was looking cranky and looked like they didn't have a good time and the cake was way too small to my liking. But anyway, so that's even during that party, he had his phone, 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 phone. He was constantly on his phone. I'm like, first of all, who bought the phone? Who is paying for it? Because he doesn't have a job, he doesn't have anything. So how does this even work? And then he's always on that thing. He's been away for 12 years. So the phone is not like how he remembers it. But then I know that these days in prison and stuff, they pretty much have a lot of things. Like it's not like before. Like he would have seen the newest and latest phones. He would have known how to use them. He probably even has an Instagram account and everything whilst he was in prison. So yeah, but he's, he's very quick with it. He knows, yeah, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. But he's glued to it. He's addicted to it and doesn't want to talk apparently 
<laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> She's rolling her eyes. I don't think that's very safe while you're driving, but okay. Keep your eyes on the road, okay, Chevelle? You said you wanted to learn? Yeah, because she's a kid. Like, obviously, he's going to say good morning to Maela. Maela's never done anything wrong. She's a kid. She's innocent. But he might be fed up with you. Don't know why, but he might be. He didn't say good morning to me. He woke up at 7 o'clock. Now you're not happy that he, at least he said good morning to Maela. Oh, why called her Michaela? Ah, anyway. Um, yeah, at least that's a good thing. He's not here out here ignoring your daughter. I think that's a positive thing. That doesn't matter. You can well, you talk about in general. He's like, it was too early to talk about anything. It was 7 o'clock in the morning. You called me and we were talking. So what do you mean? So when he was in jail, he would call. Like 7 o'clock in the morning, whatever time. He would be there. He would call. And it wasn't a problem. So she doesn't understand what the problem is now. I just need some time to myself. All right, so put the sweater on and chill. No. I'm just going to take some time to get... I don't know if that's a saying, where they're from. Just put a sweater on and chill. That's the name of this whole, what do you call it, episode. I don't know what that means. If anybody knows what that means, I mean, I guess I can I can guess what it might mean. Just like, take a chill pill. That's the same kind of thing, right? But yeah, um, I never heard of that. If you know where that saying comes from, let me know in the comments down below. But I don't know. I used to. I've been living with these guys for all these years in prison, and right now, I just need some time to myself. You've been living with these guys all this time in prison. That's 12 years. That's a long time. And now he's out and needs some time for himself. I would think that now you want some time with your woman, with your lady, with with Chevelle, and not time to yourself. I mean, I, mean I, I get that too, but you can also get her frustration. I mean, look at her face. She seems like she's just, she's just, she's just had enough. She's drained and she's tired. I don't know what else has transpired before this, but Chevelle's had it. Show you back in the house. This kid has so we back in the house. She's all alone. In the back seat, minding her own business in her own children's fantasy land. And probably knows that these people are somewhat arguing, maybe doesn't. That's why it's always sad when there's kids involved and stuff like that. It makes it very messy and just, oh, the, 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 the bickering is just unnecessary. She's like, so we back at the house. I don't even know if anybody answered her. They edited it out if they did because I didn't hear anything on the, on, you know, when I was watching it. Moving too quick. I'm out here, I'm trying to make everybody happy, but at the end of the day, it's all about me and my happiness. Is it though? Because people have also sacrificed a lot in the 12 years that you were away. So is it really all about you and your happiness or also theirs? Because you've caused them so much pain and so much heartache by being away, not being available, not being able to do stuff, not being able to, you know. So it's not only about you and your happiness. Ultimately, it's about everybody's joy and happiness, but not just your own. Don't get that one twisted because people have sacrificed a lot for you. Even though you couldn't see it, they were sacrificing a lot and they were hurting a lot because you were gone that's all i got to say it has been long enough a video i a few videos ago i was like i really like quailon he seems like he has a very cool calm demeanor but now i don't know i don't know why he doesn't want to like be all up on chevelle like be lovey-dovey like be you know like he's really kind of cold all of a sudden Kind of distant all of a sudden which is very odd to be continued if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bump stump as on the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think is this a good dude is he up to something yeah comment like and hit the notification button while she added i'll see you in the next one which will be tomorrow daily videos from this channel why wouldn't you want to be part of the gang gang i don't know i don't know it's your loss at the end of the day in any case make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right now see you tomorrow god bless